Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back, and we are let's playing Nino Kuni: Wrath of the White Witch. And in the last episode, we uh, did some side questing, acquired some items, and now we're gonna head to the southwest towards that star there. That's where the Golden Grove is, so that's where we're gonna go. That is our next destination. And as long as I'm kind of going this way, I can come over here and pick up some more booster shoots. So yeah, those uh, those alchemy areas or those sparkle areas do respawn quite fast. So if you are trying to farm for ingredients or certain types of items, then uh, it's pretty easy to do so in this game. You can also, uh, eventually, we will be able to steal items from enemies and enemies will start dropping more... Uh, items once you get a certain passive ability uh, through side questing and uh, yeah this is the Golden Grove brand new area the forest of plenty huh I love the music in this forest too. Pretty sweet. Kind of reminds me of the forest theme from Chrono Trigger, actually. In a way. Not as good as that, but this is still pretty damn good. Full of fairies, huh? Are we gonna meet your your friends here, Mr. Drippy? Oh, nobody's home, huh? Yeah, I love how Drippy calls himself the Lord High Lord of the Fairies. <laughs> that that to me just sounds hilarious. Sounds hilarious because it, it just sounds like a bullshit title, but you know, whatever. Like he's uh, amping himself up to be, you know, higher than what he actually is. That's pretty hilarious. All right, yeah, we have a save uh, thing here. You know what? I better save just to be on the safe side. Well, I guess we're going this way first. Alright, we have a new enemy here, Tyke. Anyways, in between, or uh, not wasn't in between episodes, but I forgot to mention this in the last episode. Uh, yeah, I got Mighty up to level 10, and he learned the Smash Hit ability, which uh, is pent up energy pummels a single enemy, dealing physical damage. So I don't know the exact damage formula for that ability, but it's not too bad, I guess. It is a lot of magic points, though. Might be better off just attacking. You know, it's just regular attacks most of the time, but, I don't know, that might be pretty nice. Ooh, it's some kind of... kind of... what the hell is this thing? NC? What's this? NCA. You know, I'm gonna use a different familiar this time. Just to make it more interesting. Yeah, as you can see, my monkey here, he can attack quicker than my, uh, than my might. But my might does hit harder. Nino! 
Uh, eventually, when I do upgrade my might to a, a, a different form, he will learn an ability called War Cry, which will boost his attack power, and that'll be extremely useful for him. Oh, yeah, maybe I should go this way first. Gotta hit the dead ends first. Oh! Looks like we hit our first dead end. Yeah, we can't get down there this way, so... We have to go this way. Yeah, jump on the flipping things, man. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna do a little mushroom hopping. Alright, what's up here? likely a dead end. Holy oh, boy, Mon, it's a blinking robot. It looks like it's been lying about here for a while. Like, well, it's not going to help us get through the forest. Best to just leave it here for now, in it. Alright, Mr. Drippy. We'll do that. But yeah, remember these robots for later. In fact, in the, in the game that I was playing before I started this Let's Play, I never even figured out how to even activate those robots yet, so... I imagine they'll be useful later. Okay. Um. Which way? Which way am I supposed to go here? Maybe this way, huh? Unless. Plus, I'm missing something over here. Nope. Hmm, those guys drop sandwiches. Which is pretty good, saves me the uh, trouble of having to buy them. Although I probably will be later. Because, yeah, they're going to be needed. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up here, I think. Is there anybody up here? Guess not. Ooh, this is gonna be a new enemy. Worker Bumbler. So yeah, with the monkey, just uh, psych up and then go wild and he will start bringing the pain until the psyching up wears off and then the attack power really isn't that good. But the monkey is pretty fast and he has pretty high evasion, so I like the monkey. You know, we don't really have much of a choice, so we kind of have to like him right now. I mean, we only have two familiars, so... Might as well make use of them. Hello, Mr. Pig. We're gonna be taking on a sore... boar. Oh, he was easy. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I want to show this off. Slash Dance. Yeah, I didn't get to show this off before in that boss battle, so... I get to show it now. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. So, yeah, those are kind of like limit breaks in this game, if you will. Or like what Final Fan you know how Final Fantasy has limit breaks, that's kinda like this game's version of that, I guess. 
Although you have to get lucky to pull them off, obviously, because if you don't get those gold glims, then um, you won't use them. I mean, it's not like, like say, Final Fantasy VII, for example, where you uh, take enough damage and then a meter fills Let's up go. and then... Shit. You're going to pay for that. I'm going to use Frostbite on you. Yeah, eat it, bitch. Lower my attack power. Frog of shit. I need to smash it. There we go. On a Sunday. Looks like we're gonna be fighting something new again. A pom pom? Okay. A pom pom with teeth. And a pom-pom that likes to put poison on you. Wow. What an asshole. We won! Wow, this is a pretty big forest, man. This is a lot bigger than, uh... Then I remember it being... And what, another dead end? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? Another sandwich. Alright. Guess it wasn't a total loss. Different ways can we go here? Well, I guess this is a uh, dead end, right? Dead end with a chest. All right, it's more iced coffee. That'll get used. That will get used. I guarantee it. What's MP? Uh, MP restoring items in this game extremely useful. Because you really need MP in this game, because, well, quite frankly, you're a wizard. Why wouldn't you need the this. MP? More important than HP in this game. And I don't, I'm not sure why I'm showing this battle, but I am, so... Oh, well. Uh, it's down this way. Okay, so... We're not gonna jump on those mushrooms, because they're too small. So we have to find another way around, I guess. Yes, run away from me. And, yeah, there's no jumping on those either. So, basically, uh, yeah, there will be a way to cross that eventually, but... Uh, the only way we're going to be able to do that is if we get a certain spell. That we don't have yet. Oh, what the hell? That was cheap? You see that, man? He just jumped down and fucking bum-rushed me from behind. What a crock of shit. Now I'm freaking poisoned. You're gonna pay for that. I'm gonna give you monkey... Monkey madness. Jerks. Alright, booster shoots. Nice. Oliver gained a level. Also very nice.
Wait a minute, did I miss something up here? Yes, I did. Alright, we get a Horfrost Harpoon. That's uh, for a familiar that we don't have yet, I think. Yeah, it's kind of like a spear or staff type weapon, I guess. I can't really look... well, I guess I could look at it from the bag. Yeah, it's water elemental. It raises uh, plus six to attack and plus three to magic attack. And it's a spear. Not a... not a... Not a rod, a spear. So let us continue. What's this? A familiar egg? Yeah, that is kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's basically familiars are the creatures that are always attacking us. Literally. But yeah, we won't find that out until later. But yeah. Spoiler alert, I guess. I don't really know. Not, it's not really a spoiler alert. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so we have to cast a spell to unwither the withered bits. Okay. So let's give it a try, huh? Oh, rejuvenate. That seems like the right spell, doesn't it? Wow. It's a little... It's a little fairy monster, I guess. <laughs> well, he obviously does. Aw, oh, isn't he cute? Yeah, let's take him with us. What are you, crazy? Okay, I guess we're just gonna leave the uh, the seed sprite. That's what that is. We're gonna leave the seed sprite behind. We're not gonna take him with us, even though we should, in my opinion. Oh well. Alright, so where are we heading now? Okay, that spot on the map, apparently. Which isn't too far away. Get away from me! No! Bastard! God, why do the enemies do this crap? Watch this! They know I'm gonna win, but yet they freaking attack me anyways.
Yeah, I am not afraid of two green pom poms. Oh, hey, it's a seed sprite from earlier. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he does, actually. He looks more like a fairy than Drippy does. But that's alright. <laughs> All right, well, let's go follow him then. No, stay away from me. Ah! No, get away from me, you stupid pig. Do not follow me. Oh, okay, the fairy's going up there. Or the seed sprite. Whatever he's called. Alright, Mr. Seed Sprite, what's up? Wait a minute. Oh, it's a page from the wi Wizard's Companion, okay. Alright, so we get the Quicken Growth spell, which will allow us to make those mushrooms grow so we can use them to cross. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fairy, Seed Sprite. Uh, you're a, just a kid. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, look who's talking. Alright, so what are we going to name this thing? Sid, Saeed, Planter, Seymour... Seymour? Really? No, it's not going to be Seymour. I'll just name him Sid. Hello, Lady Yuna. No, I'm not going to name him after that twit. Yeah, the, the, this familiar is good at evading attacks, so instead of defend... It has evade, so it can pretty much dodge attacks, which is, uh, well, which is nice. Considering that he has low defense, uh, physical defense, that is, evade definitely comes in handy for him. Yeah, and it's, it's a lot harder to use qu uh, evade, because, um... Yeah, it's it's it takes basically it takes less time for the counter to go all the way around before you have to choose another command. Whereas defend actually lasts longer than when you actually select evade. Oh yeah, yeah, counter attack. The little attack bubble down in the corner will flash blue. Yeah, you know, I still haven't really totally figured that out yet. Playing this, you know, with the counter-attacking thing, but whatever. Anyways, we have a brand new familiar, and his name is Sid. And I'll equip the spear on him, because that'll help him out. Don't have any clothes for him, I suppose I could give him... No, I can't give him that, because it's on somebody else. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. Creature cage. What does this guy like? Does he like cake? Oh yes he does. He loves cake. Yeah, this will raise his magic attack. And speaking of magic attack... Speaking of magic attack... What does he have for 
abilities. Let's see, right now he has Drowsy Drops, which uh, puts sleep on an enemy. At level 3, he learns uh, Water Bomb, which is pretty good. And then at level 8, he will learn Healing Tear, which uh, is the same thing as uh, Healing Touch, I guess. Or not much different. But anyways, let's... Uh, let's boost this guy up a little bit, huh? And uh, I'll be right back. Anyways, interruptions, interruptions. Where was I? Oh yes! Feeding my familiar! And whatever, I don't need to show the rest of this on screen. I'll just show it off screen. Or I'll show what happens when he gets up to uh, familiar level 2. In the next episode, let's play Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.